Naito versus Tai Chi. That was very high on the card. That was like a mid card thing. Tanahashi and Hanma versus Ishii and it wasn't Ishii. It was uh, Makabe and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yano. That was very surprising. At a major pay per view like that, like you'd have those guys on the other card, but it, the the main events really made up for it. Tanahashi was so short. Uh, Suzuki Liger was competitive, but I, Liger still looked like he had the job because like Suzuki was getting upset. I'm not sure how exactly that situation is going. More he's going to AEW or NJPW. I felt like he would fit an impact. Uh, they would push him like Elgin. And then push him to Noah. But he was just in Noah. So I don't know if you want to go back. Russell won with Muda. He hasn't been main eventing for a long time. Let's see what else is on the card. I feel like Jay White is... Uh, I feel like Jay White. Not, Jay White is not that now. I don't know about the future, but he's not that now. They're not really pushing him that far up. Wow, Taichi's 39 years old, people figure. 5'10. There's a lot of interesting storylines. Kenta. Kendo doing his whole heel thing. Like, I wonder if he's going to out-betray Jay White. The Yujiro versus Goto. Goto the uh, Yujiro to the job. But it, they finally used Yujiro in something, which is pretty interesting. Uh, Tomohiro Ishii. That Kenta feud. Teasing that stuff. They do a lot of storyline telling with the multi-man matches, given that. I go figure that was the only multi man match, six man match in the in the mat in the card. Asprey from Phantasmo was a little botchy, but overall pretty good. Phantasmo was able to hang with Osprey. Uh don't know who's gonna take the belt off Osprey. I also see El Phantasmo versus TJP and HGVW, but I don't know. They seem like they're pushing TJP for the impact Noah. We call it cross pay per view, Bound for Glory. Seems like they're going pretty far with that. Don't know who's next on Osprey's list. Um, Lance Archer versus Juice Robinson for the vacant IWGP World Heavyweight Title. Pretty good match. I don't know. I don't think that one hardcore, but it was two. It's two U.S. wrestlers, and they had a pretty good match. Very talented. Archer did phenomenal. The G One Juice Robinson just. Consistently good. Can't go wrong with that. The strikes. The match are phenomenal. Um, Suzuki and Liger was mainly Matt wrestling. Don't want to talk about Suzuki good because of like freaking El Desperado, Kanemaru, freaking Kanemaru. Uh, Tanahashi you don't really talk about because Makabe Yano. Most violent players, I forgot about that. Uh, Oh, I thought like Suzuki Goon was like, I thought Taichi for some odd reason was an LIJ, but apparently he's just been feuding with Naito. That's pretty good. Maybe they're not dissolving LIJ. I'll be a Naito is like an undercard now. Evil and Sonata are like main eventing. Maybe they're gonna give him an IC belt or something. I think that will work. I, I felt like Naito is face and like it wasn't enough stuff like that. I gotta change on my Facebook ad. I think actually. Swinging 
Taishu was an LIJ, so I probably didn't bring it up. No, he's in, uh, LI, he's in, uh, Suzuki Gun. It just seemed like they're making, like, a 39-year-old Tai Chi, like, the face of Suzuki Gun. There's no Zack Sabre Jr. in this. That's very weird. Uh, that's very interesting. I would not have done that. But they had Osprey. They didn't have Robbie Eagles. But they had Lance Archer and Juice Robinson from the Gaijins. Yoshihashi did not do much in the Bullet Club. He did some feuding, but like I felt like it was an afterthought in the Chaos Bullet Club six-man match. Bushi vs. Evil is very good. Evil, like, uh, Octopus Stretch said he was going to main event. I was doubting it, but like, yeah, he's able to... He is able to... He's a wrestler. He's a great wrestler. So is uh, Jay White. I'll be a Jay White hasn't blossomed out of a role, probably because he's in Bullet Club has to do all that interference stuff. But like, yeah, he was able to counter and he's just phenomenally taking over the main event stuff. Um, he's been countering against Korobushi very well with like, and we've seen what they could do in the G1, but it's great to see all the evil finishers comboed in the end. Kodobushi with the... They took the camera angles away when he was like... Taking away the knee pad. I was like... There's some really big camera issues in this match. For the Kata Sonata match where like... Some moves like... Look like they didn't hit at all. Like... It looked like very fake as a result. The camera is not protecting... The K-Fab and the wrestlers. Kodobushi with the last ride... The Bombayes. But they both countered with lariats. They both countered with like headbutts. Suzuki and Liger, they had an exchange where it was like a palm thrust that or Liger couldn't beat Suzuki. But I thought it was very weak. I didn't I think that's a good way I don't think that's a good way for Liger to leave. But like you got to protect Suzuki who wants who's thinking about leaving he's a future or like Liger who's leaving. I don't know if I saw a flying in Zaguri by Ibushi. Not too many flying moves. Man, you won't notice how they hit his finishers. He he can main event in a five-star match in his finishers. How long was the match? 24 minutes. Ibushi trying to hit some of his evil finishers against him out. The pile driver with the leg grabbing of the legs just phenomenal match for evil he's gonna main event soon um i don't think it's gonna be for king for uh russell kingdom but like he's gonna have a title night they seem to be shifting away from naito and tanahashi kind of still main eventing it's pretty good uh sonata did phenomenal i i still think the the dragon sleeper is a bit of a rest hold maybe if they use it like a reverse suplex or something it'd be better um he puts it so many times. And the announcers totally screwed up. They didn't versus anything at all with the G1 when it came to like him trying to fish off a kata with the, the moonsault. That's that's terrible. Like I realize that because I'm like a smart, but like come on, you gotta say it. And like that's the whole point of having the match. Like you figure that Sonata's actually gonna beat Okada because like oh he's gonna do that those moves from the beginning. I had the roll up too, which is another G one reference, and like uh, this come on, uh, Sonata, Sonata's main event Russell one, he's been main evented uh, Battle for Glory or something. Like he was a huge card, big match in the Battle for Glory card. It impacts so, like it's not surprising that he's main eventing. I feel like Evil's probably the better wrestler, the more exciting wrestler, the Sean and Benjamin of the team, but of Sonata's current angle, but like. That's interesting. Uh, Evil and Sonata, or... I still think 
Lucha Brothers are a better are a better main eventing tag team than Evil and Sonata. Like Evil and Sonata are doing their job well. Uh, Obushi and Okada. If it was WWE, they didn't have this whole storyline about who's going to turn on who, like Shawn Michaels against John Cena and stuff. And that could have been interesting and played off. I like how they had less ghetto in this. Bullet Club feels like it's minor, uh, not minor league, but like uh, mid cardish now. And I think that's a good move. Like, keep the interference out of the matches. Maybe they're going to break up Jay White or something, or Jay White's going to break up with Kenna. Kenna and Yujiro tagging was a good sign. Like, a lot of fans wanted that in the U.S. on Facebook groups. I don't know if they've been reading that, but that was interesting. I wish to see. What are your thoughts on Gumscribe?